project today, we're going to be starting to build our garden journals. Um, there's going to be a series of video lessons with this and we're going to learn um, different journal entries, but for, day, for today we're just building um, our journal. So come on in and I'll show you what you need. So um, first off we need some paper. Um, you're going to just use standard white paper. I've got six pieces. I think six pieces is, is the best number. Um, I also have a pair of scissors. I have some floss. Um, floss is something that I had lying around the house, but you could also use string or um, yeah, something that we can tie things together with. Uh, and then I've got uh, a couple of leaves that I found just um, outside. So um, those are the things that we'll need. Oh, forgot this. We also need a crayon. Um, I've got green because I happen to like the color green but uh, really any color will work. Um, so those are the materials that we're gonna use. Um, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to make the cover of our journal. So we're gonna take one of our pieces of paper, we can put the other ones to the side. Um, we can put our floss and our scissors to the side. We're not gonna use those right now. Um, now you need to find a good work surface. I'm doing it on the floor um, and I actually have um, some newspaper here that I'm just going to use. You don't need this, but I'm going to use the newspaper because I don't want to make a mess. Um, and this way, as I'm coloring with my crayon, it's okay if I color off the page and um, I end up coloring on the newspaper. That's all right. This is going to get recycled at some point anyways. Um, so we're going to be looking to cover this whole side of the page with um, some tracings, or not tracings, with some rubbings of leaves. So I've got my two leaves here. I'll start with this one. I'm just going to pick a random spot and I'm going to put my paper over it and I'm going to try my best to hold it tight but this isn't going to be perfect and I'm going to take my crayon and I'm just going to rub over it until I've got my leaf and I'm really trying to hold it in place so it doesn't move around as much but if it does move that's totally fine. Um, it's just about making it look kind of cool. Um, so there's one, and then I could take it and I can move it to another place. And even if it's overlapping a little bit, that's totally fine. It's, I think it looks kind of neat that way. I got another one. Um, I'm going to switch out and try using this leaf. Great. And so I'm just going to go through and I'm going to continue to um, fill up my, my cover sheet here with... Um, various leaves. Okay, so now I've finished. I've got my various leaf rubbings. Um, I decided to kind of fill in the outside area that I hadn't covered um, with leaves. I sort of filled that in with more green using my crayon. Um, I also actually went back and kind of um, darkened the outline around the various leaves. That was just a decision I made because I thought it looked kind of cool. You can do that or you certainly don't have to do that. So um, I'm now going to put um, my journal cover on top of the stack of papers. So I've got a total of six papers. I've got one that's the cover and then five blank ones beneath it. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to start actually building the journal. The first step is to really fold it over so that our corners touch. And then I'm going to make a nice crease down the side. Um, if you feel like you want some help from a parent or whoever to help out and make that nice and neat, go ahead. If you want to um, go full on your own, that's totally cool too. Um, so now I've got, we can kind of see how this is beginning to look like a journal here. Um, next, I'm going to rotate it so that the folded edge is facing me. And I'm actually going to make a few cuts on that edge. And this is where we're going to put the binding of the journal to make sure all the pages stick together. So I'm gonna take my scissors and right in the middle, I'm gonna make a little triangle cut. And then I'm just gonna kind of pull it out, which is can be easier said than done. There's one cut. And then halfway in between these two spots, doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna make, oops. Another cut. And then halfway in between these two bits, I'm going to make 
the third and final cut. And so we've got our three triangles. Now I'm going to get some floss and this is going to help me bind the pages together. So. And <laughs> Our little floss thing here is kind of falling apart. Okay, so I'm going to get just a nice long piece. I'm not exactly sure how long it needs to be, so I'm going to make it longer than I think I need. Which is, for me, over twice as long as the book. And now I'm going to open my journal up so that it's flat again. All right. It's just my six pieces of paper with those cuts in the middle. And I'm going to start threading. It's kind of like sewing. And I'm going to go down through. And then, and this can take a little bit, this can be a little tricky. So um, do your best, try it out on your own if you need some help. Go for it, ask someone to help you out. So I've threaded up and then back down. I'm going to flip mine over. I'm going to take my floss and I'm going to thread down. Oops. Pull it through. a little knot here. Again, give it a try on your own if you need help from an adult. Go for it. This can be a little tricky. Binding these loose bits, I'm just going to cut off. And, okay. and fold it back up. I've got my journal. Um, and I'm going to use just a, another color crayon here to actually um, write garden journal on my journal. Read it. And up at the top, I'm just going to write garden, G A R D E N, journal, G A U R N A L. And uh, there we go. That looks pretty nice. Now, um, you may wonder why we um, did these rubbings instead of drawing plants. Well, with this journal, we're gonna have a really special way of drawing plants um, that I, I'm gonna teach you guys about a little bit later. So for now, I just wanted to use those rubbings and um, I think they turned out pretty nice. All right.